So you're on the search for a fishing kayak and there's so many you just don't know what to get. Trust me, I understand. We've all been there. Let's take a look at a lot of great options that you have to choose from. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Fishing with Gramps right here on YouTube. First and foremost, I'll tell you, if at all possible, try to get out and find a kayak dealer who has demo days. That will give you the greatest opportunity to actually get in all the different makes and models of kayaks so you can find and feel which one best suits you. Now, if you can't do that, well, I'm down here at Kayak Bass Fishing Headquarters this weekend. Let's take a look at a lot of the great options that you have to choose from. Now, first, let's start off with one of the Kayak Bass Fishing Bonafide. This is a paddle kayak. You can see he's got his rogue leash in front for dragging across the rocks and ripples. Completely decked out with all kinds of yak attack gear, dual paddle holders. He's got his anchor wizard over here for keeping himself planted in place where he wants to, whether he's on the river or a lake. Coming further back, you got a black pack loaded out with tubes, rod holders, and back here a mount for a motor. And if you see this cable running up through the front, you'll see the pedal controls up here so that he can, when he's got his motor mounted, steer left and right as he's moving on the water. Next to that, we have a Jackson Kusa kayak, really popular with a lot of folks that I know. This is a paddle kayak, but I know a lot of people will put an XI3 trolling motor on the front or drop a Torquedo on the back. You can see back here, much like this one, it has the four screw mounts for putting a Torquedo in there, but nice and wide, lots and lots of gear track, could be just what the doctor ordered if this is what you're looking for. And yep, I'm right. Suspicion confirmed they have added the tri track to the Jackson Kusa. You can see your seat adjustments going back and forth. You got rod tubes on each side, and then it's the storage, storage compartment up front for battery. Now, this kayak probably has some history. This is a wilderness system. And you can see the old kayakbassfishing.com logo on it. Now, you may not have heard of Willers a lot lately, but Russ Snyders, <laughs> the guy who won the Kayak Bass Fishing National Championship and recently the Bassmaster Classic Kayak Series Championship. Yeah, he runs a wilderness that he's had for quite some time now. Now, I have never messed with a native kayak before, but I know they're a fan favorite. And Greg Blanchard from YouTube fishes out of one as well. Now, if you're a big guy like I am, 300 and up, this might be an option that you're looking for. Because if I recall, the weight capacity for the New Canoe Unlimited is like 500 pounds. And look at all the track on this kayak. You got a nice grab handle here, two rod holders back in the back. But look at all the gear track. I heard somebody say there's like 20 feet of gear track on this kayak. You've got this awesome seat. I actually have one of these on my boat, but it's a 360 swivel seat, which makes it nice because you can spin around, get into your stuff in the back, but super, super, super comfortable chair. And then moving up front, you got some little tip protectors. And then one thing I like about this is it has replaceable side plates in case you want to drill and mount stuff. And then if you sell it later, you can easily replace those. But this is the new canoe unlimited pretty awesome kayak next up probably the next kayak that i'm going to get 10 foot six it's an mk 106 powered by minkota now i actually want to get one of these for fishing rivers and smaller ponds because i want to be able to put the boondock system on here it's a lightweight kayak i've actually had a sportsman a topwater then I had the PDL 106, which is basically the same boat with pedal drive, but it's lighter weight, plenty of storage in the back, but again, powered by Minn Kota. You drop your battery in the battery box under the seat. There's your drop-in motor. 
It's got foot control steering left and right. Storage up front, nice grab handle. Coming around and looking at it, here is your throttle control system for forward and backward. You've got rod holders, plenty of room in the tank well for that. And if you want to just go river fishing without the motor, you can pull the motor out and then drop in that plate to cover up the hole here in the front. One of the other nice things about it is these breakaway locks. If you were to bang rocks, a stump, or whatever, it'll kick this motor up and out of the way and keeps it and protects it. it makes it really nice. But this is the Old Town Sportsman MK106. Again, probably the next kayak that I will add to my stable. Can't talk about kayaks without talking about the Hobie. This one belongs to, yep, you guessed it, Ryan from RJM Fishtails. He absolutely loves this thing. This is the Mirage Pro Angler 14. I couldn't tell you if it's a 360 drive, even though I think it is. Could be. It's hard telling. But he has got it rigged out. He's got his yak gadget mounts for putting his catch board in. You can see it's got rod tip protectors up front for onboard storage. See how he's got his Garmin mounted up there. Again, more Yak Attack accessories. Yak Attack Black Pack. He's got an anchor wizard back here for holding himself in place. And he actually uses a Bixby motor. And you can check out a video on his channel about how that works on this kayak. And then, of course, it wouldn't be a kayak talk if I didn't talk about my kayak, which I call affectionately the Kayadillac. There she is, the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120, freshly filthy from a nice fishing trip. Also powered by Dakota Lithiums. I run a 100 amp hour battery under the seat. I have a 54 amp hour battery in a battery box here, but I'm getting ready to replace that with a new Dakota Lithium 23 amp so I can save this one for the MK106. You can see I also run a black pack. Just the best box, hands down, way to store your stuff. I have plenty of different mounts. This one actually goes up front over there when it's not on the trailer for holding my net. There's my seat. Battery goes under here. See, I've got my Hummingbird Helix 10 center mounted on this deck from Navarre Kayak Fishing. Another dual Yak Attack paddle holder. This one I use for holding my catch board. But when I'm measuring those fish, I actually take my net and lay it this way. So if the fish jumps, it jumps into the net. And then I run my catch board across this way. And the trolling motor, which is in my truck, sits right there. Now, you see this little white puck right here? One of my favorite features of the spot lock that comes with my motor. When you add this puck, once you spot lock... You can go forward, backward, left and right, five feet at a time by touching the arrows on your remote. And it's called the jog feature. Cool thing about it is if you're sitting on a river and you're 10 feet away from the bank and you want to get a little closer, one tap to the left, it will auto drive you over five feet and let you control that position. As I'm working up a river bank on the, say the left side, I'll cast you a few different shady spots and then I want to move up, I hit forward two times it'll move me forward 10 feet while maintaining my distance from the bank at that five feet mark it's really really nice you can see how nice and filthy filthy the you can see how nice and filthy the kayak is because i've been using it <laughs> i just put those stickers on last week but yeah now one of the great things i really love about this kayak is the ability to spin 360. We hear a lot of people with Hobies being able to talk about that. But the Old Town Autopilot is also foot controlled. So not only do I have left and right and so forth with the remote on the actual trolling motor, I also have it on my foot pedals. So if I want to put this the if I want to put the trolling motor in cruise control, like I'm working down a bank throwing a crankbait or a chatterbait, I just point it where I want it to go and then I'll make micro adjustments with my feet left and right. 
if I want to do a complete 360 on that spot to turn around, I'll turn my trolling motor to the left, I'll hit my foot control to the left, and I will literally spin in place and turn around and go the other direction. Really, really love my Autopilot 120. Again, it's my Kayadalek. So there you go, a whole lot of different options. If you don't have a specific brand in mind, see if you have somebody that you can get out with and take a ride in. If you're anywhere near me, I'll surely let you in any of mine, take it out on the water and see what you think about it. But we've just done a basic walkthrough of the most popular kayaks that there is in kayak bass fishing right now. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you want to see a review I did on some of the various options you have for kayak trailers, well, I'll throw that right up here. Until next time, get outside when you can and make some memories. One cast at a time.